I'm Reginald Jones, and I've lived in this area since 1994. Howdy, my name is John McCaleb, Chairman of the DeSoto Park and Development Board. I'm Wayne Valentine, President of the Wildwood Homeowners Association. To start out with, uh, before Polk went uh, all the way to Parkerville, all of this was uh, land owned by a guy that ran cattle on the land. And uh, once the new, he sold the land to the new developer, the new developer came in to de develop DeSoto Ranch. And once he started developing DeSoto Ranch, these ponds we have out here, which is about 16 acres of ponds, uh, he thought it was too expensive for him to develop those ponds, so he he'd, uh, donated the ponds to the city of DeSoto around about 2002. And that was at the same time that the Soto Ranch was created and Pope uh, was pushed all the way over to Parkerville Lane. The power of volunteerism at its best is demonstrated right here in the city of DeSoto in the Wildwood subdivision where there is the DeSoto Ranch Nature Trail. And that's the area in which this uh, DeSoto Trail is located. This trail runs from Pope Street over here to Woodridge. Although it's named the DeSoto, Tra De DeSoto Ranch Trail, it is in the Wildwood Homeowners Association area. In this particular trail, more than 20 years ago, there were two gentlemen who decided that they wanted to have an active part in making sure that there was quality of life for every family that was here in the city of DeSoto. Their volunteerism, their communication with their city council, the communication with the city manager and staff, uh, along with the park board, has made this particular uh, location a time of event to celebrate for all. The natural park that we have in this area is natural, and because it's natural, we cannot rebuild it. Our city is blessed to have individuals who have been celebrated down through the years who yet can see that their comments, their time, research and interest, all at our tax dollars, have been able to give us something that we will have that's to be rivaled around many other cities in this area. Well, this land sat vacant and, and we weren't really doing anything with it, even though it was uh, park, considered park land. Uh, we started talking about it in 2004. At that point in time, I was on the uh, DeSoto Parks Board brought the issue up to the park board about the, the land that we had over here that we were doing nothing with that had two beautiful ponds on it and plenty of trees. Uh, we started looking at it, uh, did some research on it, got with Chris and, and uh, uh, Parks and Rec and we came up with a plan that this should be a, a, a nice park over here. Uh, eventually a couple of years ago uh, we finally decided to make a move on it but it had gone from a $5 million project with concrete stuff, all around, uh, trails all the way around and pavilions and everything inside to let's just get the trail in, which is a good idea because uh, you don't always have to have everything done at one time, but once you actually get started, you can bring all the rest of the things in uh, after that. Uh, it, it is a nice park, it's a great park. Um, we're hoping that we can still get those pavilions and, and, and uh, the stock ponds and, and the uh, piers, fishing piers, out here to this area. Because right now, some people are pulling uh, bass out of this, this park that are four pounds or more, you know. And you also have catfish in this pond. And this is, this is just stuff that's left over from the guy when he had uh, cattle on this, on this pond. So what we need is we need people here in the city of DeSoto to come out. Come on out. Come out and enjoy it and help us to advertise that this trail is available in DeSoto. Take a look at this park. And when you take a look at the park, you can see what it can be. This can be an absolute uh, destination area for DeSoto. And I, I, I do ask that you guys come on out and let's make this be what it should be. It can. Be all you can be, okay? Thank you.